One of our favorite segments. Let's say it together, shall we? Dining with, with the dailies. Carson and Siri mm. here. They're cooking up the perfect mm. menu. Look at them. You're like the Morning. Swedish chef over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, but, All right, but, but, working. Leave me alone. We're gonna make some pulled pork sandwiches to start. Okay, okay this yeah. is great for like a big family gathering, which we do a lot. We we love to entertain. We love to have our family over. So this is like a great build-it-yourself meal. Okay. So first, we're gonna start with um, the pork butt or pork shoulder. I know. <laughs> I like we're to say like pork behind. Yeah. I know. Okay. We're such dorks. Okay. Um, yeah. And we're going to throw it in the slow, slow cooker. So this is about a four to five pound. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put all of these spices first in a bowl. And there's um, brown sugar, yeah. salt, um, chili powder, cumin, cinnamon, cayenne, paprika. So and that will just make a nice little rub. All right. And then we're going to rub our behind. Do we rub the butt? We're going to rub the butt. Okay. Carson, um, could you also use the shaft of the pork? <laughs> oh, no. oh, boy. Oh, we boy. like to stick with the butt, Matt. Okay. <laughs> I heard okay. that. I heard that. I hear it all. So, okay. all right. So we're both gonna, sides. Yeah. Yeah, when Siri gonna... said she was going to make pulled pork sandwiches. You first thought it's so intimidating. You know, it's like a whole yes. thing, but it's really just really like a nice one pot cook. It. It's very, it very is. easy. So, so we're going to put this whole thing over here, and underneath here are onions, sliced onions okay. and sliced garlic. Yeah. And that's going to cook um, first. Oh yeah, we have to add our chicken stock. Yeah. And then um, apple cider vinegar, which gives it like a nice little punch. Okay. And it's going to. But cook. you only rub on one side of the behind. I didn't have time. I would, okay. I would okay. have rubbed both sides. Okay. Exactly. All right, great. Um, and then that cooks on low for about eight to ten hours, on high for six to eight hours. Okay. Then this is what it looks like, and Carson's shredding the meat. It takes no time. You just take two yeah, forks. It, fall it, falls, it, falls it falls apart. It falls up. I okay. like to do boneless, by the way. You can do one with bone, and then you just remove it. No, do the, the bone. boneless. It's easier. Yeah, okay. so then what onions. we did is we, we took our mixture of onions and garlic, and we drained it. We're gonna put that back in there. Yeah, you put it back in there. Oh. You want to keep some of this liquid, the liquid okay. because it'll just kind of moisten the meat. And then there's barbecue sauce, your favorite barbecue sauce. So you pull it off and then you put it back exactly. in. Exactly. You put yeah. it off. And you don't need to put all of the warm. liquid in. If yes. you want to skip the barbecue sauce, you can put more liquid. Okay. It's up to Although, you. I thought what you did was good because Sierra didn't put too much barbecue sauce in it. We had people over. Yeah. People, some people don't like it overly saturated in barbecue you sauce. You can add it later. It can exactly. be a little you plain and then later. you can add it later. So we'll go up to our building station. Okay. And we have some homemade um, coleslaw, which you can get online. On at today.com. It has like some almonds in it, so it's oh, crunchy. Yeah. Okay. And the, the pulled pork. I like to do jalapenos because I like mine a little spicy. There's avocado. Is this like a potato? So bun? yeah. You know what? Why don't you build that, and I'm going to okay. move on to our smashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. how's, the, how's the pork sandwich? Which are so good. Done. I love coleslaw and pork. I yeah, love right? the combination. So good. You're not making the slaw. I don't like coleslaw, but Siri makes a coleslaw that's not a lot of mayo. Yeah. It's delicious. The recipe is online, so it's, it's right so there. It's so good with the slaw and yeah, everything it's else. Perfect. Cabbage, yeah, it's green cabbage. Too. So these are our smashed potatoes. My neighbor, Jen, makes these, and they're yeah. famous in our neighborhood. Um, these have been parboiled, so in salted water. It's very important to add some salt to the water because it'll just flavor your potatoes a little more. And just till they're about fork tender. And then I just take a masher, but you can also use a fork if you don't have one of these handy tools, and just smash them ever so slightly like that, just a little bit. You don't want to fully smash it just till they break apart. Okay. You want to do it? You can get out like some of it's your It's amazing all the years that we've yeah. eaten potatoes <laughs> that we and haven't figured this out. we have this garlic, great parmesan, recipe. salt, and, um, pepper, and Italian Nice job, Savannah. I'm sorry. <laughs> a little aggression? That's a lot of aggression. Here. No, got Everything got okay at home, Savannah? <laughs> Which part of slightly <laughs> did you not get? I got stuck. Do you need to talk? Yeah. Everything okay? <laughs> Don't worry, the margarita's oh, coming up soon. <laughs> Drizzle this mixture on top okay. and it bakes for about 20 minutes. Yeah, you don't need to smash it again. Okay, okay. So, um, I smash it. And look at they get like super crispy. It's almost oh, like I love you can it. pick it up. Like it's a like a hash brown, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these yeah, are, those are really good. Mm. Carson's making okay, so drinks now, party. Now, now, I'm going to pair all this with the pulled pork. I was thinking of what goes good with that and tequila. And then I thought, oh, just a good old fashioned beer. And then I remembered this <laughs> recipe. This is a Texas margarita. It's very simple. It's just like a Blanco tequila we're going to pour in over mm -hmm. ice. You want to use a little bit of an orange liqueur, nothing fancy. A little triple sec there. I'm going to go straight up with some orange juice. I'm not even going to worry about the measurements. What I am going to do, instead of sweet and sour, is I'm going to pour about a half of a PBR in this case. That's in here, interesting. Uh, I'll mix wow. it up. You can salt the rim if that's your fancy by taking Ooh, the lime and do that. But it's it's a little different. Gives it a little different. You don't, taste, little different. you don't really taste the beer. You don't taste no, the beer. No, no. It's All right. I thought oh, we're out of time, daily. Yep. Head to well, today.com slash nice food for the recipes. Up. Good job, cheers, everybody. Cheers, we're back cheers. after your local news. Smash cheers. those potatoes. <laughs> Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.